Good evening, I'm sure. Uh, my name is Zakir. And today, we are, in this presentation, we are going to talk about logic probe devices. But first of all, what is a logic probe? A uh, logic probe is a handheld uh, tester device uh, uh, used for analyzing and troubleshooting the logic state, uh, which is a zero or one of a digital circuit. So in this presentation, we are going to cover schematic. We are going to cover the part list. And then we will choose one of the circuit. And then we'll explain here about the theory of the operation and uh, how it works. And then we'll tell you about where you can get the components and then how much is it going to cost you. And then, and then in the way. Long, how long is it going to take to um, complete the circuit? Yeah, exactly. Because when you order the components, you have to solder it. So we're going to talk about how long is it going to take to solder every component. And then. And then we are going to tell you about two different logic probes available in the market. Uh, and we will tell you how much do you have to pay for Here are the two schematics for logic probe. The one on your left side is a simplified one without a speaker and work on TTL family only and uses LEDs to show the logic state. The one on your right has a built-in speaker which tells you about your logic states. If it beeps, it is one. Let's look at the part list for both. The circuit on your left is using two BC171 BJTs and using 4.7 kilo ohm, 2.2 kilo ohm, 470 ohm resistors, as well as two LEDs. Total price comes up at least around $13. The circuit on your right is using a speaker, a 10 millifarad capacitor, 100 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm, 22 kilo ohm resistors, and BC557, BC548, BC547 BJTs. So we have chosen this circuit. Let's talk about it. Uh, this is a logic probe uh, circuit uh, that is uh, suitable for checking the voltage level in TTL circuit. It receives uh, from the circuit being tested show high or low logic level the circuit when the input voltage to the probe tip is higher than 2.1 volts which is a high transistor q1 will run the light emitting diode led1 receive that direct bias uh, will come out shining show the logic high when the collector voltage of q1 running it will fall and since the input enter at the end of the probe is connected uh, to one of the resistor R4. The joint base emitter of transistor Q2 and light emitting diode LED2 will get back to bias Q2 and LED does not work. Now let's talk about building the circuit and how long it should take to solder and make it ready. After you have all the components you can start soldering it on the board which uh, should uh, take approximately 15 to 20 minutes and another half hour to debug it and troubleshoot it so we have chosen two different logic probes from the market and let's talk about it uh, first one is Elenco LP560 logic probe which is a uh, $26 uh, uh, it's a uh, display logic level high or low pulses and the voltages uh, transient down to 20, uh, 25 nanoseconds. Uh, tested, uh, test all logic uh, families, TTL, LSI, CMOS, ECT, and uh, captures pulses uh, to 25 nanoseconds uh, or 20 megahertz pulse or more features. Alenco, uh, the second one is uh, Alenco LP900, uh, uh, logic probe and uh, pulser uh, which is uh, $44 uh, dollars. Uh, two in one logic probe and pulser uh, simplifies uh, the troubleshooting and uh, analyzing uh, digital circuits frequency response is 50 megahertz detectable pulse with 10 nanoseconds ideal for use in labs service shops schools home and industry so we searched through Amazon and got some reviews for the test probes. So as you can see, the one, the $26 one has pretty nice reviews. And one of the 
buyer said perfectly good logic pro been using it for a few months now without issues i wish the coil wire wasn't quite a, quite as aggressive as snapping back to its original shape plus that will likely fade with time otherwise i have no complaints the one on the the 44 dollar one has a comment says the probe does what you would expect it to and seems to be fairly well constructed about the only complaint i have is the wire lead and alligator clips are a bit on the cheap side it would be nice to combine the probe itself with some nice wires and would be golden other than that, other than that performs like a champ just remember this probe does not include any audible beep to represent high low it's purely a visual probe which i personally prefer so that it doesn't beep drive me crazy so this is the end of our presentation uh, i hope everyone enjoy and listen to us and have a good night take care have a good night everybody